I'm at Bonhoeff Lumber this morning. I'm picking up some uh, lumber for a project for my friend Kurgi. So I'm making this shelving system. Uh, it's going to be out of solid lumber. And uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. It's only going to be 10 inches deep, little base on it, two part, one's wall hung. And I came up with this idea last night when she was over. It's gonna be painted, but even if it's gonna be painted, I'm gonna do my sliding dovetail keys with a miter on the corners, and I'm gonna clear coat the corners, and we'll be able to do a tape line with paint, but that'll be exposed, and I think that'll look pretty cool. So, yeah. Time to get to work. It's a great way to start the day right there. All right, all the parts are ripped here. They're all ripped to over 10 inches wide. I'm hoping I can net 10 inches finish width on these. Um, if I'm a little short, I've got some rips over here I can mill and glue on the end there. No big deal. I probably should have split all these right down the middle, straight lined them, milled them, and then glued them together to make 10 inches. In the long run, that may prove to have been the smarter thing to do, which would have been extra steps with gluing. I'm hoping I can mill these 
because uh, my joiner planer here, this will do, um, I can get it 10 and a quarter wide on the joiner on the top, but it'll get just over 10, about 10 and an eighth through the planer on the bottom side. So that's why I did it. The plan is, you guys know how I mill things by now, I'll face join all these boards here. That means making one side perfectly flat and I'll tip it on end and I'll get an edge here, 90 degrees, perfect. And then I take it over to the bandsaw and I thickness it there, vertically. Then I let it sit overnight. Then I come back the next day, I put pencil lines on the flat side that I milled the day before, run it through the face joint again, that's the joiner up here. Uh, and then uh, at that point, then I can usually run it through the planer and it'll remain stable. Just depends. Sometimes these boards are pretty squirrely, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, that's what's happening. I think that's it. Yeah, I'm going to go get some lunch. Stick around.
This is the first of the long ones that I've gotten face joint and edged. And all the short ones done. I've got uh, seven more of these. And then I have to run them all through the bandsaw. Alright, so it's quarter, quarter to four. These are all the bad side up, but I'll show you what the other side looks like. So all these have been face joined, and uh, this bottom edge here is 90 degrees to this. And this is a garbage can here that's almost full already with sawdust. That little machine down there is collecting all the dust for me. So, man, it's already kind of late in the day, but I guess I'm going to set up the bandsaw next, and I'm going to try to thing about my bandsaw is it's pretty powerful it's an 18 inch Laguna but I need a new blade I've been limping this uh, carbide tip resaw blade I've been milking that there for quite some time I need a new blade and last time I bought one it was 250 bucks and I need a new one <laughs> they don't last forever a couple little tricks to it like I use this wax stuff that uh, helps with friction on the blade. It seems to help a little bit. Uh, you know, proper blade tension and all that good stuff, but I have to go very slow. You're cutting 10 inches on end, you know, on edge there. And with the way the grain is, it wants to bog down a lot. With a new blade, it cuts like butter. It goes pretty quick. But with this blade here, I've got to go pretty slow, stop a couple times along the way. So each one of those could take me a couple minutes for a pass. Well, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. If I can get this done, I'll be in pretty good shape. And tomorrow's Saturday. Maybe I'll come in tomorrow and see if I can uh, get all the milling done on these things. The sooner I get it done, theoretically, the more money in my pocket, right? It looks like it's pretty good. A couple of them are pretty thin. I think in the end we're going to end up probably with just over an inch and a quarter thick. But we'll see how that works out. I'm hoping I can make this whole shelving unit. It's going to be about 66 inches wide. That's a huge span to not get a sag. But because of the, the height on these two boxes, I could get away with putting like a little stringer underneath each shelf to stiffen it up a bit. Uh, it's not like anybody's going to be climbing on it. I don't think uh, they're intending on putting hundreds of pounds of books on it. should be fine. But, you know, you guys know me. I want it to be right. So, let's see how far I get now. So, well, we'll 
little New York Dolls for you. <laughs> I love the New York Dolls. So, uh, took just about an hour. That's all going to move, I'm sure. But it won't get super crazy. It shouldn't. So, pretty good shape, actually. But that was a long, brutal day. I think this is going to be a video for today. I, I was going to do this video where I shot a bunch of clips and edited them all and then just put them all together and do one long video. But I realized... Like when I was doing the table, it'd be like a two hour video or something, start to finish. So I'm just going to do a bunch of these relatively short videos of the process. Every, every Each day I'm in here working on it, or there might be a video or two where it's two or three days. Like today's really, this video you're watching now is two days. Yesterday I got up early, I drove down there, I selected the lumber, I had to load up the van, I had to drive it out of here, I had to do lunch, I had to unload the van, you know, then I straight lined it. So, you know. That's how that works. So it's first video, two days. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be good to one another. I'll catch you all in the next one. And I hope you follow along with the series. I think it'll be kind of neat. You guys notice, look, I can obviously do things standard like everybody else does it. I just like doing things different. Well, I do the same thing the same way over and over again. Uh, although I have done this technique before, Every time I do a project, it's different. So each one's 100% unique, and uh, that's just how it is. So I hope you liked it. I can't control whether you did or not. <laughs> I'm wiped out, man. I need a massage. I need a massage. I need a girlfriend that's good at making, at doing massages and making cookies. And like who likes to get up and work out. <laughs> that's too much to ask for. I'm getting punchy. It's a long day. And I know it must be the weekend coming because uh, look how gray it is out here. LA, you know, we had so much rain this season. And it's like on most weekends, we're getting rain. So uh, maybe that'll happen again. Anyhow, here's a quick look at the van. Yesterday, I got up on there and I hosed it down and I used a hard bristle brush and I cleaned off the whole deck. So it's nice and clean. So you can lay down up there if you wanted to right now. It gets pretty dirty up there. That's the thing about having a roof deck. you got to clean it. If you don't and you go somewhere and you put a blanket down or something, it's just covered in dirt and grime. All right, now I'm out of here. I'll catch you in the next one.